welcome back to my channel today. I am quickly going to run through my June favourites. I have just got in from work, which is why I am looking not my best. Um, I never normally film after work, but today I am just because I am so busy at the weekend. Um, and I love favourites videos because I feel like I want to talk to you so much during my tutorials and other videos about products and there's just no time for it. So I use my favourites as my time to talk to you about my favourite products at that current time, if that makes any sense. So this favourites is going to include a little bit of makeup, a little bit of skincare and then some fashion as well. So let's just get started. So I'm going to start with makeup. I um, had a bit of a splurge at Avon Online recently and basically when everything arrived I loved it so much um, and I wish I could show you all of it but I'm just going to pick out a few key favourites of mine. First is this lipstick. This is in like a corally pink and I don't know if you can see but it's got like a marbled effect to it. It's really cool um, and I'll just swatch it for you. I am wearing this today. I just thought that that colour is perfect for summer. I've actually got nothing like it. Next from Avon was a blush. Now you know me, I always sort of go for pinky blushes and I would say that I tried to stray away from that but this is also quite pink. But it is officially called Soft Plum. It's a plum shade, um, but slightly lighter, I think. It's definitely more pink than it is plum. I am also wearing that today, but you shouldn't really look too much at my face today because I have just been sat in an office for 10 hours. So those were my two favourite products from Avon. Now I am so excited to show you this. It did come out in one of my most recent tutorials because it is a very recent purchase of mine. But this is a highlighter from Becca. I've never bought anything from Becca before but I've heard great things about her in the world of YouTube. People have recommended it to me so I took the plunge. You've probably seen the packaging it comes in before. It just looks like this. Uh, flip it open as a mirror on this side. Um, and this is in the shade Moonstone. Now, this is perfect for my pale skin. It is so difficult, let me tell you, how difficult it is to find a good highlight if you are officially the lightest foundation shade everywhere. It is difficult. This is just so light and powdery, and when it's on, oh, it just gives you the most natural sort of looking glow. You can see it here. It's the perfect highlight, so if you are pale and you are struggling, I highly recommend this. Giving you a sneaky preview there. Finally, out of my makeup favourites is another lipstick. Now, it is from MAC. I went to the MAC counter and tried and tested a load of lipsticks, but nothing was really calling out to me very much, except for a couple and it's this one and Velvet Teddy but that was in last month's favourite so anyway I won't mention that again but this one is in MAC Red and I just absolutely loved it because it is the classic red shade. I am a sucker for classic red lipsticks, I wear them all the time, I think they complement my pale skin very well. You can just see how pigmented that is from over there. Okay, another major haul of mine this month was Lush. You would have seen this on a blog post if you follow my blog, but I did go a little bit crazy and spent a lot of money on things that make bubbles and soap. A couple of the things that I bought that weren't soap related are what I'm going to show you next. First is this tea tree water spray. I was instantly intrigued by this. It is basically toner water and it says it comes to the aid of skin that has emergencies. Mine always has emergencies. Tea tree is a wonder antibacterial, antiseptic and antimicrobial ingredient for anyone with oily or spot prone skin. Antimicrobial. Well, this is my problems in a sentence right there. So Basically, um, I wasn't too sure how this works, so I asked for some advice. I always make sure to ask some advice anyway if I'm buying a new product, um, if I can. And it says to close your eyes tightly and spritz directly onto the face or onto cotton wool pads to wipe away any dirt. That's fine, but that didn't really help me in the store, so that's when I approached a member of staff and just said, when is the best time to apply this? Is it 
uh, before you put your makeup on in the morning so it goes under your makeup or is it lasting at night and she said well to be honest it can be used anytime but she recommended that you use it straight after cleansing your face in the evening I have fallen in love with this so much that I have been using it whenever I can if I've just come in from work taken all my makeup off cleansed moisturized and use this I will then go away for a few hours relax and I have been coming back to it and using it again because it is so refreshing all the prices will be down below along with the product names so go and check that out if you are wondering but this was about eight pounds i think totally worth it next from lush was another new purchase something that i've never purchased before is their face masks and i got this one it's called love lettuce it says it's a fresh face mask Effective exfoliating face mask to give normal to oily skin a radiant glow with polishing almond shells, softening almond oil, soothing lavender oil and the magical lightning action of Fuller's Earth. I love how they use organic ingredients in their products. I just think the less chemicals that we use the better. That's what it looks like on the inside. I've used this twice now and I absolutely loved it. You have to keep it in the fridge, which for me is a bit of a downside because it's a bit like I have to trek to the fridge because all my skincare stuff is in my room. But you know, that's, you know, people have to do way more work than that in life, even if they want water and stuff. So I can't really complain. I love how it's got the almonds in it because if you apply it onto your face, I left mine on for about five to 10 minutes, which is recommended. And then as I was taking it off, I just rinsed my hands under some warm water and went straight in onto the face and exfoliated as I took the mask off, which I thought was an added bonus because um, I, didn't, I exfoliate separately. So this just means that I can do the two in one. Okay, the last bit of skincare that I have been absolutely loving this month is this makeup remover from Clinique. This is Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes and Lips. And oh my gosh, it is the most gentle makeup remover I have ever used. It gets every single little bit of eye makeup off. Even when I think that I have removed all of my foundation before then going in with my Sonic brush, I will use this and as I use it around my eyes, just like this in circular motions, I'll take it off and there'll just be like a nice orange patch on there where I've missed my foundation. So it's so gentle, but it is so effective. And I'm really sad that I have used all of that in just a month. So uh, this was free in the bonus time, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna have to buy the full size thing. Oh, that wasn't last from skincare. I forgot this. I don't know how I could forget this. The next product has become a huge part of my daily routine. It is the Tea Tree Witch Hazel and it's a Boots own brand. Um, but it's also Witch as well, which confused me at first because I didn't realize that they were connected. They do a load of different cleansers and toners, but I would highly recommend this one, especially if you're oily like me because it hasn't broken me out. It must be the tea tree in it. I just think that works with my skin so much. That is the same ingredient that's in this tea tree water as well. And this is only like two pounds, I think, or one pound 50 even. It says it deeply cleanses, refreshes, and helps keep skin clear and healthy. Uh, and you get 150 mil, and I just apply this onto some cotton wool pads when I finish taking my makeup off with a wipe. Um, I'll go in with this, and then afterwards I will use my Sonic. I used to use the Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions um, Cleanser, but this is very expensive and it has a lot of alcohol in it. It dried my skin up very quickly, which is good because I'm oily, but it left me too dry after cleansing, like my skin was thirsty. Okay, that is my favorite skincare products of this month. Next, I'm just gonna show you a little bit of fashion, which I don't normally include on my channel, um, but there's just been a couple of pieces in particular that I have been absolutely in love with and I can't stop wearing, so I just thought I would show you those. I have my graduation coming up in about three weeks, actually. It's quite scary, I'm really nervous. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but of course I bought a full-on outfit for it. I bought the dress from Zara, and but these shoes arrived, and I wasn't too sure about them online, but when they arrived, I just, I want to wear them all the time. They are these, and it just has a mid size, or mid to high sized heel, and it's got an open peep toe with this gorgeous um, sort of gold metallic sheet on the front, um, which I think gives it a really kind of expensive look. These are from Boohoo, and I think they're only 20 pounds, um, and I just, I can't wait to wear them. Next 
isn't technically a piece of fashion. Well, it is, I suppose. It's a piece of jewellery. So anyway, I went to a jewellery party and a company called Stella and Dot were there promoting their jewellery and it gave us the chance to sort of have a chat to them about what stuff they do for us to try their jewellery on and to buy some at a reduced amount. So I fell in love with this open bracelet here. It's just got sort of diamantes and an arrow sort of shape and it doesn't close in the middle but it is adjustable and it's just a plain silver band all around and I just absolutely loved it. I have to say, very expensive for what you get because it is real silver. Oh, I, I'm gonna wear it all summer and I absolutely have not taken it off yet, not even to shower, which might not be a good thing. And finally, you will have seen this in my Topshop haul video more recently. It is this beautiful yellow top. Now, I have not stopped wearing this. It's been in the wash about three or four times already and it's not even a month old. This top came in so many different colours, including like coral and orange and black and white, um, but I just love the yellow so much, and I've had lots of compliments saying, oh, Kai, you really souped yellow. Oh, thank you. I just think it's such a fun colour. My wardrobe is very dull, so this spruced it up a bit, and I think it was only 18 pounds or something, and I really want one in every colour now. That is my June favourites, I'm sorry if that was very long, I always try and like speed up and I get out of breath. Um, anyway, like I said I'm very busy this weekend but this video as you're viewing it will probably be up on the Sunday. This will actually, whilst I'm focusing on Sunday, that is my deadline for my giveaway on my blog. I am doing a beauty giveaway if you don't already know, I'm giving away two MAC lipsticks of your choice. So you tell me which ones to go and buy and I'll buy them and I'll give them to you. And a Clinique makeup bag, which I already have, let me show you. There we go. It's this makeup bag from Clinique. It is brand new and it's just beautiful, I think, for the summer. Um, you can fit quite a lot in there. I just think for a holiday or something, it's just ideal. So there we go, um, yes, I'll leave the link down below, so head over to the blog and do all the things that you need to do to enter, um, and I wish you the best of luck if you have already. So yes, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, sorry about the angle and me looking like a mess and all that, but we'll just roll with it. I'll be back looking fresher on whenever the next video will be. <laughs> I'll see you very soon, thank you so much for watching, bye.